I'm a Destiny 1 player. So are you, in some capacity. And you're probably wondering, hey Bungie, am I going to get any cool stuff in Destiny 2 for being a part of Destiny 1? The answer is yes, and recently we learned what at least some of those things are. There are seven emblems coming to players in Destiny 2, depending on your past experience with the game, with three of them still available to actually earn. For reference, emblems now cover the entire top part of your screen in Destiny 2, as well as being visible in orbit and other places they are typically visible. The first two are for Year 1 players. This one is for completing at least one moment of triumph during Year 1, and this one is for completing all moments of triumph in Year 1. The next two are for Year 2 players. This one is for owning Taken King and doing at least one moment of triumph, and this one is for owning Taken King and completing all moments of triumph in Year 2. The next three are for Year 3 players. This one is for owning Rise of Iron and reaching rank 2 in the Age of Triumph record book. This one is for owning Rise of Iron and reaching rank 7 in the Age of Triumph record book. And the final one is for hitting 5,000 Grimoire in Destiny 1. Now, I know there's probably a few people out there wondering what owning the game actually means because a few people do game sharing. Someone buys it on their PS4 and then someone else sets their PS4 as that person's primary PS4 or whatever the heck goes on. I'll quote Bungie on this one in a previous example. Quote, Bungie does not support console sharing features. Players must own Destiny the Taken King in order to qualify for referee status in the Refer a Friend program and meet the requirements listed above, end quote. So, I will say that if you do not own a copy of Taken King or Rise of Iron, I would not be surprised if you do not get these emblems. I will try to hunt for clarification, but that is what I assume that it means. Now, if you're asking, well, I'm going to PC for Destiny 2, but I played on console in Destiny 1. How do I get my rewards? I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess and say that you're probably not going to get them. I have my doubts that Bungie will have some sort of a system to transfer those rewards to PC, but in case they do, I will let you guys know, but I would not anticipate being able to transfer those rewards to PC. Moving past that, if you still want the Age of Triumph Year 3 shirt, you have until August 1st to get rank 7 and place your order. No, the shirt is not free. On the screen is a list of some of the last times you can do certain activities to complete certain things in the record book. So if you don't have your challenge modes completed for the raids, if you don't have your Wrath 390 completion, stuff like that, you might need to do that for the shirt depending on how many other nodes you've completed. If you don't want the shirt, then you can just ignore that. Iron Banner's last Destiny 1 appearance will be the week of August 1st, and Trial's final Destiny 1 appearance will be the weekend of August 11th. Finally, PS4 console exclusives are coming to Xbox sometime in October. Taking King content will be out on all four consoles, Rise of Iron content on only PS4 and Xbox One. If you're saying to yourself, who cares, Destiny 2 will be out by then, yeah. Yep. So, there's your little preview of at least some of the rewards coming for Destiny 2 players. I do not know exactly what is coming next, or if we are getting anything else, but as soon as we do, I will let you guys know. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.